So I'm all checked into the hotel now. And it was about a four hour drive from Liverpool to Gloucester. Um, yeah, it was pretty creepy as I was driving up. It just looked like the set of Hitchcock Psycho, the motel, and like the really eerily quietness. And then I walked in and there was like no one there and then the receptionist came out and they checked me in. But it was just a bit creepy to start with and then walking through, just like the halls are dead. No one's around. The floors are really creaky though, so I can hear every footstep now outside. But there's Wi-Fi there, so yeah, I'm really complain about the situation. And it was cheap; it was only forty pounds. So uh, that's that's worth taking the risk about getting murdered, right? First uh, convention tomorrow. Um, looking forward to it. Bit of pre-match nerves as well. Never done anything like it before. It's all about experience now. <clears throat> I'm just looking forward to getting the book out there. And, Putting in people's hands and hopefully people just getting the word out and just promoting it really. Yeah, friend Jay will be joining me. He lives down in Bristol. It's only about ten minutes away from here, so he'll be helping me out of the stall, which will be a great help actually. I'm very tired now. It's been a long drive, long day. Tomorrow will be even a longer day, so I am going to get some rest. See you tomorrow. So I am back from True Believers Comic Festival. It was a long drive straight after the festival, straight home, took about four hours. I was really happy with how um, the day went. Overall the event went really smoothly. The organisers behind it um, done a really did a great job. We pulled up outside um, Cheltenham Racecourse and we were showing straight in, even to the table by one of the agents and yeah everything ran really smoothly nice little touch was a card from the organizers just saying a little thank you message and um, that was nice and being my first convention obviously it was going to be <laughs> a bit nerve-wracking but they couldn't have done more to um welcomed us and helped us set up this being my first convention I wasn't sure, you know, what's busy and what isn't busy for a convention. It did get quiet at times at the beginning, you know, people were coming through and stuff, but it did filter out towards the end naturally, I think. Um, I think I heard somebody say that, like, it, it was quite quiet, but it's been the quietest it's been. This is its third year, I think, and this had been the quietest one they've had so far, um, apparently. It was a Manchester, something on in Manchester or Bolton or there may have been other events that had been on the day before and um, it had been particularly quiet because of that. I can't vouch for it at all, I don't, I don't really know but that's what some of the regulars had said. I really enjoyed it though, being my first comic convention actually trading, um, it was really fun. About half ten it started and I think I made sold my first book within about half an hour so that settled the nerves a bit and uh, I was just happy to sell I would have just been happy to sell one but I sold I think it was over five copies um, which I, I made up with that it did get quiet so at a busier convention I may sell more possibly things I'd change going forward for the next convention I would probably uh, change the layout of the table I should have prepared it more before the event, as in like do it at home, set a table up and see where things would go, where I just turned up on the day and was like placing things there and there, I was like, 
a bit, maybe a bit rushed because we were a bit late getting there as well. No, about half an hour to set up. And yeah, I just would have changed a few things with the the price and tags. Yeah, the price and tags looked <coughs> cheap. They were like a fruit and veg store. I'd, they were last minute as well. I wanted to get some like black with silver marker um, written on for the prices, but just went to the shop last minute and got those. Um, yeah. I probably could have done more with elevating stock as well, so it was like a bit higher level, um, just to make it look more presentable, I think. Um, and so also some like posters along the trim of the front trim of the table, just to you know, get the image out there as well. I didn't want it to be too complicated though the setup. I, I'm a minimalist, so I like things like set out and not overcrowded and. I think I succeeded in that. Well, I've only got one book, so <laughs> I will succeed in not overcrowding the table. I met some really great people at the event as well. A guy called Alex from Pipe Dream Comics, which if you're starting a comic or a graphic novel, that is the website to go and see what is the latest books being showcased. You know, if you want to get a feel for it, that is the place to go. Basically, it's one of the best. I bought a journal from Alex's store and it features like all the best comics from 2016 and yeah it just gives you a real insight into what's um, happening on the indie scene. Fantastic. I also got to meet Katie Whittle and Tom Smith. Um, Katie's also a fellow Liverpudlian so it was nice to be in good company and finally meet her. I was just introduced to her on Kickstarter and she very kindly gave me a copy of Knock Knock issue three. I had a good friend called Jay um, help at the stall with me as well. So he'd mind the stall and I got a chance to walk around the event and I spent, spent a small fortune on the comics available. Well, thanks for watching and I will be back with another vlog at the next comic convention. I'm going to be doing some short YouTube videos on writing tips, self-published tips, comic convention tips. I've done one now so I can maybe give some advice out on how to help. I'm just starting out in this so if someone's watching that has never done anything like this before, you want to write a book or you want to um, publish a book, then hopefully these videos can help help you learn, help you not make the same mistakes I'm going to make by telling you about them. So subscribe if you want to um, stick around and see what is going to happen next and if you want to hopefully learn. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Mm -hmm.